we've all been through traumas in life, but that's not an excuse for us to treat people in any bad way mm -hmm. or behave in any certain way because maturity is figuring out what your issues are and solving them and helping yourself. It's not treating people badly and saying, hey, I've been traumatized, you know? Mm -hmm. So I am absolutely loving the season of Dubai. How has this show changed your life in just the few months that it has been on? Um, so basically at the beginning when we wrapped it up and, and everything was over, I was like, you know, what did I get myself into? <laughs> but then, you know, you realize the show opens you up to a reality about yourself, which is it's okay to be a good person, but you need to stand up for yourself. And if you don't, you're betraying yourself. Mm -hmm. But I think um, the show taught me that uh, you can be a good person yet fight for yourself and you can still remain a good person because you're just, you know, fighting for yourself. That's so it's, it's just a reality wake up call for me. And I cannot deny the journey. I cannot deny the growth, um, the learning, the experience, the adventure mm -hmm. that this show takes you on. It's 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 a beautiful experience. Definitely. Obviously, you can't see everything that people say about um, about you in confessionals and things like that. So, watching back the show, what has surprised you the most? Oh my God! The, watching the confessionals was the shock of my life because uh, and this is where me and some cast members were naive yeah. um, me and Nina um, Ayan and Lisa especially Ayan used to always Chanel used to tell us listen don't go hard on me uh, in confessionals my son watches it I don't want him to be traumatized he's very um, emotional and sensitive so me and Nina were like sure and we kept our promise because we what we say matches our actions, you know, we, we honor our words. But then when we watch the confessionals and she's like, I never said anything bad about you guys. We're like, wait, hold on. <laughs> were, were we just thrown under the bus? I mean, yes, I wish there were moments where we understood that some people just are dying to be heard and to be famous, that they're willing to step on anyone else. Mm -hmm. While, while me and Nina, you know, like most of the cast, they don't care. We don't care. Um, about any fame that comes out of this. Yes, of course, it's part of it. Mm -hmm. But I'm never going to step, step on another woman or pull her down just so I can be heard. No way. There's enough for everyone. Mm -hmm. Who would you say out of all the women has changed the most then since the show uh, started airing? Um, Nina became stronger as a person. Caroline Brooks became one of our good friends. So mm -hmm. she evolved and... She overcame uh, the influence of being a negative person that was done by others, and she unchained herself. And she she's just a great friend. But I mean, I'm sure that's going to be interesting for people to hear after watching such the in, the intense fight that the two of you had over the course yeah. of the last few episodes. I mean, watching back, um, you know what happened. Is, do you have any regrets about what you said to her in that moment about her son? To be honest, I don't have any regrets because the conversation, um, as you can see when it started, I said, can I say something? I asked for permission and I told her, I don't know anything about your kid and you. Like, I obviously don't know about your relationship, which means don't take what I say as me telling you how to be a mom. Mm -hmm. I was just telling her, um, be better, you know, be more. You know, I, I'm not a yes friend. I'm a friend that's going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Um, I'm, a, I'm a friend that's going to celebrate your highs and be there for you for your lows. So I, I believe true friendship is not just sitting and gossiping, talking about boys or what am I buying next. It's also about self-growth and telling each other how to be better people. That's it. So it was more of an advice for her from a loving place and when I told her you need to be uh, close with your son, not to your son, because boarding school is far. So be close with your son. So that's that's all I meant. I did not mean it in any way um, that was like demeaning the way she raises him. I've never seen them together to have a judgment. Mm -hmm. And when I was telling her um, um, you should go tuck him in, it's because when they said goodbye to each other, she looked at him with like this puppy face. I felt like she, maybe she wants to go upstairs with her son, but she has guests. Yeah. So I said, maybe you should go talk him in. And you know, us, we're okay, don't worry about it. Yeah. It was all from a loving place. It was never intended to show her how to raise her kid, you know? Right. But um, yeah, I mean, 
She was told a lot of negative things about me. I was told a lot of neg negative things about her from Lisa and Ayan. So my only um, my only regret is I wish I never listened to them and I've given her a chance so we can be real friends like we are right now. Yeah, D watching it back on Caroline's uh, viewpoint, did she ever apologize? Because she said over and over again that you said that you that she needed to be more affectionate with her son, you, which you didn't. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, no, which you didn't say. Did she ever apologize for... Uh, uh, she did. I, yeah. I apologized and she apologized because, you know, maybe maybe what I said sounded bad to her. And plus, like she drank a little bit that day and her friends were like going at her a lot. Mm -hmm. So maybe she felt um, attacked yeah. because at the beginning of the conversation, we were not fighting. She was talking and giving and taking in a very mature form. But when her friend uh, kind of like said, you're cold hearted, you don't treat that, you don't do that. So I felt that ticked her off and then she started screaming at everybody. Right. Yeah, it, it was clearly a hit a nerve, I guess, right? Yes. Yeah. Did you, because uh, I, I watched uh, tonight's episode, do you feel that apology, obviously you guys are friends now, but did you feel in that moment that that apology was sincere? Uh, yes, because as a person, I believe that, you know, give people chances. Mm -hmm. And plus, like, I've been told so many things about her from, from the other girls, like Lisa and Ayan. What if she's been told things? Let me get to know her better. I believe in giving chances. I don't believe in cutting people off right away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I believe that, you know, she, did, she didn't mean it. Right. What was your relationship like with Lisa and Ayan before the show? And what's your relationship like with the two of them now? I mean, with Lisa, and for Ayan, I was like um, a shoulder for her to cry on. I was a person she called for advice. I was a person she called for business advice, for life advice. I, I, I've done so much for Ayan. Like, I was always by her side and I got her back. Um, so I felt like we were building a friendship. And Lisa, I... I Lisa is just with Ayan. Like I, I, for me and Lisa, our energies don't match, which is okay. You don't have to be best friends with everyone you meet. It's not normal. Some people are not just on the same energy as you, which is okay. But um, so I was. I didn't have any expectations from Lisa. I did from Ayan. And then when I watched the show, I was like, hold on. Um, like th that's insane. I I'm not preachy. You call me. You you have a demand, and I supply you. Why don't I advise Nina or Lisa on the shows? Because they never came up to me for advice. You did. Brooks did. So I, I was shocked. And um, especially uh, what, what shocked me the most is the part where um, I told her when we were sitting in the hotel room, I told her it's never too late to be like me. Mm -hmm. And she went on the press and the news and she's like, I can't believe Sarah's so full of herself. I'm like, hold on, Ayan. You attended my speeches throughout the whole day and you came up to me and I was busy between speeches and you told me you love the way I speak and you wish you could be like me one day, but it's too late. But I didn't have time to respond back then. So when I went upstairs to the room, I was addressing that. I was like, it's never too late to be like me. Tell yourself something and you'll be it. But for her to take that story and to like victimize herself, I mean, We've all been through traumas in life, but that's not an excuse for us to treat people in any bad way mm -hmm. or behave in any certain way because maturity is figuring out what your issues are and solving them and helping yourself. It's not treating people badly and saying, hey, I've been traumatized, you know? Mm -hmm. Has she apologized for anything that she has said in the confessionals or doing anything like that? And do you expect that from her? I mean, she did briefly. Like, I didn't mean it. I don't remember saying it, mm -hmm. but... I mean, it's it's fine. It's it's okay. I don't care. You know, it's it just you know people reveal themselves. You know, it's and sometimes you realize, okay, you know, I've given you to I've crossed a river while you wouldn't even cross a, a puddle for me. So I've done too much for you, and this is what I get in the end. Will we see the fallout of this friendship kind of play out the rest of the season? I mean, you will see so many ups and downs. Um, you will see the reunion. You will see so many things. But in the end, like as as I, what I will tell you, like as a general advice for everyone out there, it's sometimes you can coexist with someone. It doesn't mean you have to be best friends with them or like accept them. 
Mm -hmm. or accept their behavior. I'm not a yes friend. I'm a friend that's always going to uplift you, always going to tell you the truth. So, and if you don't like that, I'm not going to water myself down so you can like me. Mm -hmm. What was it like filming your first reunion? What were you kind of, what was your mindset going into it? And what was your mindset going out of it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was not nervous because I had nothing to hide. I've never said anything about anyone behind their back. Mm -hmm. There's no receipts or anything whatsoever. Oh. But it was just like the, the I, what I was worried about, the capability of some of these girls to lie mm. and make up stuff and defend it. And they're very hostile and aggressive. And my behavior, like I'm very zen, you know, I'm meditating under a tree or something. I probably meditate now. <laughs> but it's, it was like a crazy experience, but I loved it. It was a good opportunity to address things, mm -hmm. to be honest about things and to see how people react and own their mistakes. And I love it how some of the women, and they're my friends, they own their mistakes. Mm -hmm. But then you have two of them that will never own their mistakes. Yes. So you, see, you see a lot of that, yeah. Do you feel like there's almost like a cast divide between, you know, you, know, you Nina, uh, Brooks, and Caroline Stanberry, and uh, Chanel, and, um, and I, Lisa? I don't feel like it's a cast divide. I feel like it's... Um, Everyone reaped uh, the, 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 the fruits of, of their seeds. You know what I mean? Like everyone got, everyone got revealed for the lies they did, for the, for the uh, un, unnecessary drama they created, for the lies, for the, for the gossip. Everyone has been exposed. So in the end, I just want to thank Ayana and Lisa because they gave me the bestest friends I can ever ask for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I'm very close with the girls. They're my right to die. Are you close with Caroline Sanberry as well? Yeah, yeah, very. Caroline, yeah. Nina, and Caroline, yeah. Yeah. What, um, what do you make of her wedding to Sergio? We saw it play out. It looked absolutely I beautiful. It. I love it. I Look, Sergio is like a brother to me, mm -hmm. and I know Sergio inside out. He is just the most innocent, soft-hearted person you've ever met. And I think him being like that, he is changing Caroline to be more open to showing her feelings because Caroline doesn't come from that background. Yeah. So I think Sergio is really making Caroline live the life and discover who she really is instead of who she was told to be. Mm -hmm. So I love their relationship. It just gives me so much joy to see them together. Definitely. You think they're going to have a baby sometime soon? <laughs> Caroline wants it. So yeah. let's see how it goes. I, I mean, I hope so. If not, there are so many ways to adopt or do so many things, but they want to try both of them. Definitely. Um, you know, Phaedra, who appeared on this season of Dubai, said that she would bring the ratings if she was a cast member full time. She said this in a, a different interview. What do you make of that? I love her. I think, look, you cannot, uh, us as like, we've been on the show for 25 minutes only, you know? They, these people have been there for like, they're legends, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, of course, if she comes on the show, she's going to give us ratings. Like, I, we cannot deny a legacy. I cannot just, you know, uh, erase this woman's history and say she's nobody. No, she's amazing. She's funny. Uh, Brooks told me so much about her. I would love to meet her. And if she ever comes to our show, we would, it'll be epic. We'll have so much fun with her in Dubai. Definitely. Yeah. Well, it's been beautiful and so much fun to watch. I'm loving this season. I can't wait to see the rest of it unfold. Sarah, thank you so much for your time. It was an honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.